The Eon Mira 9 is a powerful and well thought out machine that showcases a large number of improvements over the typical Ohmtech style Chinese import. Despite some trade offs like limited Z depth and the lack of pass through, features like autofocus and high speed digital stepper motors make the Mira Pro line a valuable asset worth your consideration. This is especially true for people who are interested in a system that offers little resistance to getting up and running, as the Mira 9 is designed to be as close to plug and play as you can get with a large gantry system like this. When paired with Lightburn, there's very little CO2 laser work that will be out of reach with this gorgeous $12,000 investment. While I did receive the unit in this video for free, I was not paid for a review, positive or otherwise, and all of the opinions in this video are completely my own. I'm super grateful you guys value my opinion, but make sure to always do your due diligence before deciding to purchase a new laser. Let's go. The Mira 9 glass tube gantry CO2 laser is absolutely no joke. It boasts a host of high-end features that help it stand out in the sea of competitors, and its design and functions certainly place it among the premium champions of Ruida-controlled CO2 lasers. The Mira 9 is the larger of the two Eon lasers that make up the Mira Pro line. The two units are virtually identical outside of their smaller bed size of the Mira 7 and the built-in chiller unit. The Mira 7 offers a fan-cooled 3000 series unit, whereas the Mira 9 sports a higher-end 5000 series vapor compression chiller setup. The Mira's high-speed digital step motors and linear rail gantry system are what enable it to reach max engraving speeds of up to 1200 millimeters per second. Other impressive elements such as the inline beam combiner, autofocus system, optional light burn camera compatibility, and all-in-one design make this unit an absolute breeze to use, even for the inexperienced. You can read the spec sheet as many times as you'd like, but you do not appreciate the size of this thing until it shows up on your doorstep. The crate dimensions measure 68 by 44 by 29 inches, and when it shows up packaged it weighs a whopping 560 pounds. Shedding the packaging doesn't lighten the load much for you either. The machine itself measures 51 by 40 by 21 inches and clocks in at just over 500 pounds. You can opt for an additional stand to set this bad boy on, but we chose to go with these wooden workbenches from Amazon, which are the same ones we use everywhere else in the shop. After a terrifying experience in which Jimmy almost crushed me with the machine, we were able to get it up on the benches. Definitely did not do this the smart way, and unfortunately I didn't record video of the transfer, but be smart when you're planning on moving this thing because lifting it is serious business. Included standard is a simple little toolbox with everything you need to get started, including an air hose to connect an external air assist, exhaust ducting, an ethernet cable, acrylic beam alignment targets, safety glasses, lens wipes, your machine key, a hex wrench set, triangle key, a couple depth gauges, and extra mirrors among other things. The package also included some extra autofocus spring pins as well as extra BBs for mounting the third mirror in case you lose yours. Once uncrated and on the workbenches, it took about 20 minutes to get set up, including running the USB and power cables and attaching the extractor vent. Unfortunately, upon closer inspection, I did find that the inner coolant lines of the laser tube had shattered in transit. It was shipped in January, and while I suspect that while it was warm in Florida where these are built, the water froze in transit to New York at the height of our winter season. I'm not sure if it's standard to ship the unit with water in it, or if they forgot to drain it, but it's definitely something to look out for. Thankfully, Eon's customer service is on point. I got to talk to a real human being right away, and five minutes later, a new tube was being prepped to ship out. I had it at my door less than 48 hours later. After that was taken care of, it was just a matter of turning it on, and we were ready to bite into this thing and see what it could do. Let's take a quick tour around the outside of the machine and get to know our way around. The front of the machine is pretty bare. However, we do have the main door, the front access panel, and the Wi-Fi module. On the right side, we see our emergency stop button, keyed on-off switch, blower power button, 
U-Disk port for loading jobs via flash drive, and USB port for connecting to the computer. Around the back we'll find our chiller tank and its control panel as well as our exhaust unit. The chiller is a 5000 series vapor compression water chiller, which means it uses active refrigeration to actually cool the water flowing through the system. Right beside it is that 330 watt downdraft exhaust system, which moves some serious air. One of the goals of the Mira Pro Lasers is a small footprint and compact size. Having these units built directly into the machine means that you don't need any extra hardware laying around on the floor or on the walls in order to operate this unit. A huge plus if you're in a tight space but need a big laser. The back side of the unit is also where we'll find the port for the power cable. The Mira 9 draws 1200 watts and runs off 120 volt AC single phase power so there's no need for 220 or god forbid 3 phase. Thanks to its fully interlocked case and keyed ignition, the Mir 9 definitely classifies as a class 1 laser. The heavy duty lid is fire resistant tempered glass and is fitted with gas shocks and rubber seals. So if safety is your number one priority, this unit is definitely up to the task. Right next to the lid we'll find Eon's custom control panel for the RDC6442S-B Ruida controller. The first thing you'll notice when you open the lid is the extra large laser bed. The platform features a motorized Z-axis, which is super easy to use right from the Ruida control panel. The bed consists of a high quality aluminum blade table, which is excellent for cutting, as well as a standard honeycomb bed topper, which is perfect for engraving applications. It has a 600 by 900 millimeter or 23 inch by 35 inch work area, which is extremely comfortable to work in for most projects. Unfortunately, to keep the machine compact and achieve its all-in-one design with the chiller and exhaust fan, the laser lacks any pass-through panels, so whatever you want to mark will have to fit through the front door only. Thankfully, 600 by 900 millimeters is huge, so it shouldn't be an issue too often. The Z-depth, on the other hand, is only about 150 millimeters or 6 inches, which is painfully shallow if you're coming from something like an Ohmtech machine, which can eke out just about twice that. You may not notice if this is your first laser, but coming from something with a much deeper body, I do find myself wishing it had more space for taller objects fairly often. Again, the name of the game with the Mira Pro lasers is compact. The Z-Depth sacrifice definitely has its advantages if you're tight on space, as the vertical footprint of this machine is quite small when compared to similar models from Umtech and Thunder Laser. Moving on, we can take a look at what really makes the Mira Pro lasers shine. It all comes down to their linear rail gantry system, which features their clean pack design. Eon's clean pack technology attempts to use the drive belts to enclose the rails to prevent smoke and debris from collecting on the rail path, which should reduce the frequency of maintenance required. I haven't gone crazy hard on the cutting with my Mira 9 yet, so we'll see how this holds up, but so far the rails look nice and squeaky clean to me. The linear rails are absolutely rock solid and offer higher load capacity, better precision, and absolutely vital rigidity, which is key when considering the ridiculous speeds this laser is capable of achieving. Up to 1200 millimeters per second engraving speeds and 680 millimeter per second cutting speeds are available to you thanks to the high speed digital step motors and extremely lightweight laser head design. By using premium stepper motors and engineering the laser head to be absolutely as light as possible, this thing can fly when you need it to. This wouldn't be possible without the linear rails, as the force exerted on them during use is immense, and the acceleration distance required for the head to change directions is virtually nothing. All of these features culminate into a show that is nothing short of impressive when you push this equipment to its limits. The Mira laser head also features a custom autofocus module, which is a fast and easy way to find focus for most jobs. Thankfully, the autofocus pin is easy to remove and get out of the way when you're engraving in tight spaces or inside curved objects. My only gripe with the design is how far up inside the head the lens resides, which can make it difficult to mark inside walled objects where you'd normally get a little more play. That said, it is a fair trade-off for those mirror speeds we're able to accomplish. Unfortunately, Eon has opted to go with a GX16 6-pin connector for their rotary port. Four of these pins are used for their two-phase stepper driver, and two are shorted to switch the machine to rotary mode. While this is convenient for hot swapping to rotary without a lot of work from the end user, I feel a physical switch could have done just as well while still maintaining compatibility with industry standard four-pin connectors. Beware that the use of the 6-pin connector here locks you into either Eon's in-house rotary hardware 
or the extremely expensive high-end Rotoboss without substantial rewiring by the user. All of this powerful hardware can be controlled from a PC using RDWorks or PC and Mac if you're purchasing Lightburn. Lightburn is not included in your purchase, so be sure to factor in the $120 price tag if desired. Of course, I highly recommend Lightburn for the best experience with this machine. Also, if you plan on using Lightburn, the Lightburn camera is available as an added upgrade, and it's amazing to have it installed at the factory. The installation is flawless, and it's difficult to tell how they even have it wired because everything is tucked away so neatly. The camera is mounted right underneath the handle, and the sturdy build of the lid and case make sure that the camera ends up in the same exact position every time it's used. You can send jobs via USB, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi with the included Wi-Fi module, and the Mirror 9 comes with 256 megabytes of onboard memory, so you're able to send and execute jobs directly on the machine without tying up your laser software. Alternatively, you do have the option to run programs straight from a USB flash drive if you prefer that method instead. Opening up the rear door reveals a beautiful Reki glass CO2 laser tube. The Mira 9 is available in 75, 90, and 100 watt configurations. My unit supports the Reki W4, which is the 100 watt, 117 watt peak variant. The laser setup also includes a very much appreciated inline beam combiner. That means absolutely no fiddling with an angled red dot and guessing where your mark is going to start. I upgraded my ohm tech with a beam combiner after purchasing it, and installing it was a massive pain in the butt. Having this one arrive pre-configured was so amazing, and the beam combiner really is a must-have feature for me. Once you start using it, it's really difficult to go back. Just such a quality of life improvement. The Reki name is well known for quality and reliability over the long term, and I'm extremely glad that Eon chose to go with them as their standard laser tube for their glass tube units. I thoroughly enjoy the peace of mind from knowing that there's a quality tube driving my system. We tested the Mira 9 on a wide variety of materials and in a multitude of different situations to gauge its performance both in an experimental and professional capacity. It met my incredibly high expectations in every test and real world project we threw its way. The laser is blazing fast, extremely powerful, and beautifully precise, whether you're just trying to cut your way through half inch acrylic or achieve fine details in photo engraving. The Lightburn camera integration works flawlessly and the Ruida controller makes it easy to use the system's powerful features, whether you're an experienced laser master or a total newbie. The most disappointing aspect of this machine's usability is definitely the decision to go with the proprietary six pin port for rotary connections. I completely understand the desire to make hot swapping to rotary mode easy for users, but I think a switch would have sufficed while still maintaining compatibility with industry standard two-phase rotary solutions. While the lack of pass-through access and limited Z-depth definitely pains me, the tightly condensed footprint of this machine could prove absolutely vital for some operators, and I can definitely appreciate the vision. The exhaust system is powerful and does a great job at keeping the engraving compartment and components free of buildup. I've hardly had to do any cleaning since uncrating the machine. Likewise, the 5000 series chiller has no problem keeping our water at a brisk 17 degrees Celsius, even during the most demanding cutting jobs. Top that off with stellar optics and sharp beam quality from the Recu tube, and you've got a powerhouse system that dominates every time you press the start button. All Eon lasers are backed by a two-year factory warranty and their Lifetime Plus Care Plan, which includes remote startup training and unlimited US-based phone support. As I mentioned earlier, their phone support is absolutely supreme, and the value of that should not be underestimated. If you'd like to review what their warranty covers and expiration dates on individual components, I'll leave a link to their warranty statement down in the description. There's no arguing that the Eon Mira 9 is an absolutely gorgeous machine that's had a ton of thought and care put into its design. The machine is certainly premium and that definitely comes at a premium cost. The base price of the Mira 9 is $9,995 and its smaller sibling, the Mira 7, starts at $7,495. My configuration with the 100 watt upgrade, rotary device, and light burn camera integration comes in at $12,189. You'll be paying for shipping and taxes on top of that of course, so this isn't the complete picture. 
The Mirror 9's higher cost when compared to similarly sized machines is certainly at least partially justified by the amazing support and solid warranty you're entitled to with your purchase. You're also getting a massive amount of features standard that would normally be costly and time consuming upgrades for less expensive machines. Having them all done for you in advance perfectly definitely adds to the value offered by Eon here. For users on a tight budget, there may be less costly machines that will save users a good chunk of change if they're willing to put the time and effort into making these types of upgrades on their own, but ultimately, you get what you pay for. The Mira 9 and Eon's offerings in general are absolutely top line as far as Ruida controlled CO2 lasers go. If these machines are within your budget, you're in for a treat when yours arrives from the factory. So is a Mira 9 right for you? Well, first and foremost, it has to be in your budget. At its current price, it's certainly not going to be in budget for everyone, especially considering taxes, shipping, add-ons, light burn, and ultimately a compatible rotary if you don't feel like rewiring your own. Also, if you plan on doing a lot of very large scale projects where high Z depth or pass through functionality is essential, you may want to consider other high end alternatives like a Thunder Laser, which is a bit more suited for industrial style projects. If that doesn't sound like you though, the Mira 9 is an extremely capable, stylish, and well-designed machine. The all-in-one design saves a massive amount of both horizontal and vertical space for people looking for a high-end machine but lacking square footage. The linear rails, stepper motors, and lightweight laser head allow for this machine to move at absolutely mind-bending speeds, and the incredible value offered by their warranty, remote startup training, and phone support is extraordinary. For anyone looking to start with a high-end machine or upgrade from an ohm textile Chinese import, I have no problem recommending they check out Eon's Mira 9 laser, which is an ambitious and modern system in today's CO2 laser market. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Laser Everything. I'm really glad that you had the time to come hang out with me for a little while and check out this amazing laser engraving machine. And if you're interested in picking up a Mira 9, there is a link down in the description. And if you fill out the contact form, uh, I get credit for the sale and it helps the channel grow. So uh, definitely consider doing that if uh, you're seriously considering picking up a Mira 9 or any of Aeon's other lasers. Uh, let them know Laser Everything sent you because every referral makes a big difference for us. If you got value out of it, don't forget to smash the like button, let everybody else know the content is good, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a video. If you love the channel and it's the best thing that ever happened to you, don't forget to check out the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel and it allows us to continue doing what we do here. It starts at eight bucks a month. We just hit 1900 supporters crazy mind blow uh that's really just it's so amazing I'm so grateful for everyone that's already supporting the channel if you want to join them go check it out over at masters.lasereverything.net i think that's all i've got guys thank you so much for watching this episode and i will see you in the next one